everyone, it's Benitez here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's WTF episode, I'm going to show you how you can retrieve the most recent or oldest records in Power Automate with Flow. In terms of the agenda, I'm going to talk about a couple of user stories. This is for your understanding of what I'm going to be sharing with you today. And then we're going to jump straight into a demo. The two user stories that I have may sound familiar for those of you who are working in an organization and it is a service desk type of environment. The first user story is I only want the most recent open cases of a contact so that I can email the customer a list of their cases at the end of the day. The second user story is I only want the oldest open cases of a contact so that I can let my team know they need to attend to these cases immediately to resolve them. Or you could have it where you need to send the oldest cases to the contact. That's another valid user story as well. So without further ado, let's jump straight into Power Automate with Flow. So this is my Power Automate with Flow. It is an instant flow where my trigger is when a record is selected in CDS. The entity that we're referencing today is the contact. The idea is that an end user in the model driven app will select the contact that they want to run this instant flow against. The second action that you are seeing in this Power Automate with Flow is a CDS list records action. Now there are three fields that we need to populate in here. The first one is the filter query. In the filter query, we are saying that we only want active cases, which is status code EQ1, of the contact from the trigger. So in a case in CDS, there are two fields. The first one is customer and the second one is contact. And so again, this, this filter query is saying, give me only cases that are associated to the contact in the trigger who is the primary contact of that case and the case status is active. So the next two fields that we need to populate as part of the CDS list records action is order by. Order by is something that people who are configuring in CDS today would be familiar with. So when you create a system view or if you create a personal view or if you are modifying or creating a brand new view using advanced find, you have the ability to add a field as a column and you can do configure sorting for the ordering of that field for that view. So in here, the same principle applies. You can use a date as your parameter or something like an amount field. So where the type is of currency in CDS. For the demo today, I am going to use the created on date and I'm going to use DESC to represent descending and ascending, which is something, again, like I mentioned, people who are configuring in CDS today would be familiar with. So the same concept applies here. DESC represents descending. Then we have another field called top count. In here is where you can enter a value. So it needs to be a number. So in my scenario, I'm entering five. So this way, the CDS list records action will be retrieving the most recent five records because it's ordered by the created on date as descending, where the contact is the contact of the case and the case status is active. Okay, I hope that makes sense. So then the next action that we're doing is using a create HTML table. I'm going to pause here and I'm going to flick over to a blog post that my friend created last year. His name is Andre Morgano. He is another Microsoft MVP in our Microsoft community who is based in Melbourne. Last year, he wrote this blog post where he shared how you can schedule a report using Microsoft Flow and Dynamics 365 data. So as we scroll down, he has an area in here where he talks about using the create HTML table action. If you leave the create HTML action as is, 
when the email is sent, it's going to look pretty basic. So this is what it looks like. And if we scroll down, he then talks about using a compose action where you can apply CSS. He has also provided a link where you can get a sample code for CSS and apply it into your compose action. I followed those steps and I also use the same link as well. So basically, uh, before I get to that compose action step, here is my create HTML table action. I'm simply referencing the CDS list records action in here. And I'm saying that in my table, I want to have the case number, the case title, and the created on values. And this is the title of the column. And the next action is that compose action where I've grabbed the CSS code from that suggested link from Andre's blog post. And then our final step is to create the email message for that contact. The action that I'm using is the send an email v2 office 365 action. And you can select the email value from your trigger. So that's from the contact entity. You can apply the same with the first name. And then in here is where we reference that compose action that has the CSS styling for the HTML table that we've created in this step. Okay, so that is pretty much the Power Automate with Flow. I will switch over to my model driven app and we are gonna go ahead and trigger that instant flow. So here is the dialogue that will pop up as part of the instant flow, and then we can hit the run flow button. Okay, so let's head back to our flow run history. And we can see that it succeeded about four seconds ago, so it's pretty quick. So I'm now going to jump over to my Outlook and look at the sent email. So we can see that this is the email that has been sent, and it is showing five records as specified from that CDS list records action. And it is only showing the, it's ordered it by the most recent cases for that contact. So again, I'm going to switch over to my model driven app. So here are all the cases for that contact. And you can see that if we order it by descending using the created on column or field, we can see that those are the five cases that are in the HTML table in our email. So that's if you want to do it for the most recent cases for a contact. If you want to do the oldest, basically what we need to do is just change the filter criteria. So the filter query will no longer be DESC, it will be ASC. So this is ascending where it's going to order the records return from oldest to newest. So once again, I'll switch over to my model driven app. We'll run the flow. And this time, when we see the email that's been sent, it should display the oldest five records for that contact. So again, we'll look at the run history. So it successfully ran six seconds ago. And if we look at my sent email, we'll now see the five oldest cases for that contact based on updating that filter query to use ASC for ascending instead of DESC for descending. Now, before I wrap up, I'd like to highlight that one thing you may notice in the email is that the date and time is displayed real funky and that's not going to make sense to the recipient. So in other words, the customer receiving the email. Stay tuned because in my next WTF episode, I'm going to show you how you can correctly display the date and time value in the create HTML table action in Power Automate with Flow. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye. Turn up. Let's go. Let's go.